You spin me right around and let's learn a little bit about rotating in Unity. Alright, we find us back in Unity once more and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about rotating a game object both around its own axis as well as, well, another object. All of that in 2D though, so do keep in mind that this is going to be 2D. The 3D case is a tiny bit more complicated, although the same methods would apply. However, sometimes in 3D, there are things that are called quaternions, and they're very scary, and they're four-dimensional vectors, and we'll not talk about them today, because today we're just going to make 2D rotations, but maybe in the future 3D rotations as well. We'll see if the demand is high enough, but let's just import a couple of sprites right here. Those are, of course, linked in the description below. Together with credit, of course, they are absolutely amazing. Let's just change them a little bit. So basically, I just want to make sure that the pixels per unit over here match the amount of pixels that are in the image and that they are all on point so basically we just want to change this and then the point right here again apply the galaxy background is going to be 640 and also on point and then the planet is going to be 62 and also on filter mode point apply and there we go now we can get our asteroid rotating around the planet first of all we're going to drag in the galaxy background over here and you can see it's it's a little small we can either with our rect tool right here we can either just drag it from the corner and make it big while holding shift and alt we can basically just size it up like this and whenever we find that's fine we're going to put it at zero zero you know what we're just going to size up to 20 20 20 i think that that's going to be okay there we go and what i do want to do is i want to just make this a little bit darker here in the background maybe maybe give it a little bit of a color tint because otherwise the planet and the asteroid are not going to pop out as well so let's just do something like this maybe that's going to be okay and there you go now we got a background over here that's going to be really awesome let's also drag in the planet i think the planet could be a little bit bigger so let's maybe size this up by two let's set it in the middle and maybe at minus one over here so it's a little bit more down. And then we can add our asteroid right here. Maybe that should also be sized up by 2 over here. Maybe not by 22, but by 2. There you go. And then maybe this could be at Y level 2. I think that that's going to be awesome. There's going to be a couple of things that we're going to implement. Number one, it's going to be rotated around its own axis. Then rotating around the Earth right here, or this Earth-like planet. And then also we're going to make it so that it also automatically rotates around the planet. So we can basically toggle this on and off. All of this done in a custom script. So in the scripts folder, right-click new script over here. We're going to call this the rotating movement here in this case. There you go. Let's double-click and let's open Visual Studio and take a look at this class. All right, so what are we going to need? Well, we don't need any start method. And what we're going to have is a rotation speed, then a transform that we can rotate around, and then also a Boolean to basically toggle on and off whether or not we are rotating. So first of all, a serialized field of private float. This is going to be the rotation speed. Of course, making sure that we can easily change the speed of the rotation. We're going to have a serialized field, which is going to be a private transform this is going to be the rotate around. We're going to assign this via the constructor and then a private bool over here. We're going to call this the auto rotate and it's going to be equal to false basically because at the beginning I don't want this to automatically rotate. So how do we now rotate? Well, let's first of all get the rotating around itself in, then the rotating around the planet and then the auto rotating. So first of all, rotating around itself. Let's just say if I press the R key, it's rotate in one direction, the Q in the other direction. So we're going to say if input dot get key, and this is quite important that we use get key over here. Otherwise, it's only going to register the key press once and we want to continuously register the key press. This is going to be key code dot R. And then we can say this.transform.rotate. We're basically calling the rotate method right here. The first parameter of which is going to be, you can see that there's a bunch of different ones over here. The axis, the angle, the relative space to what we want to do is the first one is going to be vector three dot forward. That is going to be the Z axis. And explain that in just a moment. And then here, of course, the rotation speed, however, times time dot delta time, of course, so that it is frame rate independent. And what we can do is we can duplicate this. So just select it, control D and put this under Q. And then instead of the rotation speed, we're going to do the negative rotation speed. And this actually will already allow us to rotate our asteroids. So if we switch back to Unity right here on the Asteroid 2, we are going to drag in the rotation movement. There we go. The rotate around. We don't have to add that yet because this is not used yet. So let's just play. You can see. You can see barely anything. However, we are moving. So you can see right here on the right side that we are moving. Now, why is this so incredibly slow? Well, when you think about it, the following thing happens. The rotation speed is 1, and time dot delta time, basically, as you can see, is the interval in seconds from the last frame to the current frame. So basically, every second, we are rotating by 1 degree. 
That is really not as fast as you might want it to. So let's maybe call this uh, maybe 45 degrees. So that's going to be a little bit more noticeable. And that's still going to be per second, right? Make sure we reset the script over here for the rotation speed. Otherwise, it's still going to be one. And if you play, and now there we go. So this looks a little bit better. And now if I do R, you can see now I can also go into the other direction. If I hold both of them, it's just going to stay still because, well, they both cancel each other out, basically. So that's really cool. But how are we going to get this to rotate around the planet? Well, some of you might have already seen this, and it is a very, very cool thing. So let's just duplicate both of them again because it's going to be almost the same. And here it's going to be the A and the D key that we're going to use. And then instead of the rotate method, we're going to use the rotate around method. And this is incredibly easy to use. You want to give it the position that it should rotate around. So this is going to be the rotate around transform that we've gotten dot position. Then we want to give it the axis again. So that will be vector three dot forward again. And then the angle, as you can see, once again, rotation speed times time dot delta time. So pretty much almost the same thing like as we've seen before, we can now copy this over to here and do a minus over here. We can now also rotate around the planet, but very important that we don't forget to actually add the planet right here. You, of course, have to drag in the planet in the transform right there. And once we've done this, we can go in and you can see, there we go. We're rotating around the planet. And yes, if I now press R as well, I'm also rotating around myself while I'm rotating around the planet. So I can even go into the other direction, although that is a little less noticeable. But yeah, there you go. That is that is some rotating around. And I can also go the other way and I can also rotate the other way. So you can see it's pretty freaking cool. And now one last thing, we're also going to make this automatic. What we can basically do is we can ask, hey, input dot get key down, key code dot space. If we press the space bar over here, what we're going to do is we're going to toggle auto rotation. This is a method that doesn't exist yet. So we're going to generate that method right here. And the only thing that this does is just say this dot auto rotate is equal to the negation of itself. You can see it already suggests this to us. Absolutely awesome. And what we can then ask is to do the same thing that A does. So we can basically just copy this over. And instead of asking, hey, did we press A? We're just going to say auto rotate if this is true, right? Then we're going to rotate around. And maybe we also want to rotate around its own axis, something like that. So let's just take a look at what how this is going to look like. So we can now go back to Unity once again, start the game. And if I just press the space bar, you can see now it is rotating around the planet. If I press the space bar again, it's going to stop rotating around the planet. Pretty cool. And I can double it up. If I just press A as well, then it's going to be, get double speed over here, which is pretty cool. And I can also make it rotate faster around itself, or I can make it completely stop in the air if I press the other key. Pretty cool indeed. And that is some rotating for you. Hope you're not dizzy from all that rotating. But next time in this video, we'll take a look at some collisions. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.